Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Hospital. So today what I thought we could do is as you can see the financial situation isn't great. So a bit like last episode what I thought we could do is just do a little bit more micromanagement because as soon as this number starts to be a bit more in the white, so positive, then we can start thinking about a general surgery department, this one just here. But we just can't do it when we're, when we're making a loss, it's not very feasible. Because that means we're going to have to get another loan and that you know produces interest that we have to pay back every day. So, so let's start with emergency. Um, so I think, yeah, so we treated three patients last night in the clinic. Um, and then what well, money wise yeah so we were sort of evens last night in the clinic um, yeah hopefully that's gonna get better sorry um, but we we made nothing in hospitalization last night because this is counting today so from midnight but we've paid quite a lot in wages so what have we got so at night yeah, so we've got bare bones. So at night we've got one doctor who's on. Okay, she's getting paid a lot. She's on five two two, um, and we've got one nurse. who's a pretty cheap nurse, uh, but she's okay. So doctor. So I'm really sorry, Mary, but tough times. Goodbye. And at night, let's go for. So we're going to go for Kate. She's good at acute medicine. Oh no, do we go... Let's go Carol then. She's a two, sort of a two-star doctor. Um, she's cheap and cheerful and, you know, she's going to be able to do the job, which is what we need to do. So that's already saved us around £200 a day. So that's good. Um, so that's emergency. Radiology... Let's have a look at radiology. So we've got no one at night, I believe, in radiology. No. Um, I don't think we've got horrifically paid technologists all around sort of the 300 mark, but they're all good. We don't want, you know, we don't want random people here just not doing anything. So radiology, normally, yeah, because I don't think... I don't think you gain anything by radiology, do you? I think, you know, it's just the way that AIDS diagnosis for patients, so you don't actually get, you never gain anything by radiology. But it's fundamental. It's fundamental for the hospital to function, so... We're just going to have to keep it, you know, keep it how it is, keep that ticking over. Um, intensive care. Yes, we've got two doctors and two... Two doctors and two nurses. I think two nurses makes sense. Uh, we haven't got ridiculously priced nurses, really. You're not cheap, Karen, at night. But we could definitely maybe go down to just um, one doctor per day and night. Get rid of those two. So who's the best one here? Is any of them a good boss? So let's make... Christopher Brown boss. I'm actually going to get rid of those two doctors at night. Um, oh, because I'm paused. No. Go away, I don't want you. Dismiss. Fired. Um, does that work? Yeah. Okay, so that saved us some money. So we've got two nurses in a day, two nurses in a night. But we've just got one doctor in a day, one doctor in a night. So that, that, that's plenty, that's plenty. Labs. So I think, again, labs... I don't... I, do labs make money? No. So again, the labs don't make money, they're just costing a lot because we've got these guys in the night that we I don't think we need we didn't use them last night uh, these needs someone at night but do you need two at night could you actually cope with just 
one person at night. Let's go to Brook. So you've got one person at night, two in a day. So we're, we're getting quite radical here. We're making a lot of big changes, but I really do think it's going to help the hospital. Do we have to pay to sack people? Hmm, possibly. Okay, so department neurology at night with five untreated. I don't know why, but the doctors at night for me are not working out. So what I think I'm going to do is until I've heard of a fix or until I look into a fix, we're not going to work at night in neurology for the clinic. We'll keep going as normal um, everywhere else in hospitalisation, but we're not going to work at night. So we've got rid of two doctors and we've got rid of one receptionist. I'm going to keep the janitors because janitors are always good to have. I don't want to mess too much with the nurse and doctors at night. What I did do is I did pop in... Oh, I thought I did. Oh no, I've done it here, look. So, don't need a doctor at night there. But we need someone in the... Um, what's this room? Neuro exam unit at night. I think that's why they weren't getting treated. So what I'm going to do is I don't think we're going to need you at night because your workload in the night does say none. So let's try and work on that. So let's get through today. We're just going to have a look around and make sure we've got no hot spots of people. We've got someone in the operating theatre. Can we move these beds around? Yes, we can. So we need you there. Then you have all that sort of stuff there. That goes away. That goes away. You need your little cabinet. Why are you not okay? Oh, it's because you can't get to the bed, can you? <sighs> what a pain. Um, let's delete that and then we'll move that to there just so that bed's functional so we've got tons of beds in the high dependency unit and um, all looks good we're making some money oh we have a monitored patient who is collapsing rachel gonzalez penetrating oh god you have to have a craniotomy <laughs> yes money we need that but you are collapsing. Bandage your head. I'd get her to ICU actually. Um, I think they'll be able to look after her more in ICU. Keep an eye on her. Should we be moved? Yeah. Or you're going to have an examination on you. Okay, or just don't listen to me, that's fine. Jordan Miller, is that who you're working with? Is that this person here? No. So now Jordan Miller's collapsed and it was meningitis. So he needs IV antibiotics, which I think he's getting. Uh, yeah, he should be getting them. So he should be okay. Um, and then we do need another one of these rooms, really. But... I would like to add the new floor for general surgery today okay so let's get through today let's try and see if we can make some money for today what we can do is we can add the floor so add new floor copy walls but don't copy oh actually yeah copy tiles so i don't think that costs very much it just costs a little bit for the lift i think doesn't it yeah so that's perfect so we've got all this set out for our general surgery department so let's just carry on making some moolah. Um, these are looking okay. These rooms are being utilised, which is great. Um, yeah, we've got a nice amount of available beds in both HDU and regular department. Downstairs, we're getting through the patients here. Yeah, we're making loads of money here, guys. That's great. Oh, Rachel's collapsing again. Um, so she, yeah, she's... <sighs> She's just going to need constant care. Rachel, Rachel, come back to us. So I 
think we've got enough money that we can oh it's just so tempting it's so tempting should we just do it let's do it do you know what one of my favorite phrases i know it annoys some people but i think it is very befitting you only live once so get rid of that reception general surgery we need the reception area which is going to be that we need waiting room, which is going to be here. Um, here we can have just a small to uh, to toilet. Why can't I speak today? Get the toilet in there. And that gives us a, uh, a toilet for general surgery. Restroom. Um, we need just some general surgery offices. So let's have maybe two to start with. I think that seems feasible, doesn't it? We need a receptionist for up here. So let's we're gonna have to save some money and just get the cheapest one possible. So let's go for some glass. Oh, no, don't you not a glass door, do you? Maybe we go for a door with a window in it. That's nice. Then inside we're going to want office desk, um, office desk over there, an office chair, computer, um, we'll go paper holders in, oh god, spamming out, there. We'll get a red bin and a yellow bin with some disinfectant above that. We'll get a green exam table because I'd like this to be green themed up here green fiend green screen like that mobile cabinet jigs uh, we need eye test which is not in the right place there and let's get one there we're going to need two cabinets so let's go for these cabinets like so and crp crp um, audio meter audio meter so these rooms are functional we're going to go for you're quite good Barbara because you're quite cheap but you've got quite high diagnosis actually and then we'll go for maybe Lisa because I don't know if you're quite good enough so let's go for Lisa so now we've got a functional general surgery department how awesome is that here we're going to say that this is a corridor uh, and down to that and we can work on the other bits a bit later so what we could do is we could do our color scheme so we're going to go for green so all oh, that's going to be green let's do this bit as well like so up there up there up there up there um, here is all going to be green. Here is going to be green. And let's do that. Oh no, don't build a wall there. So do that, but then have an opening there. And there. Um, oh god, no. And then let's get in green walls in that room there down there and we'll sort that bit out a little bit later so it's a start it is a start um floor yeah let's keep it the same as down below let's go for like a a green check for the doctor's offices and then green lino or vinyl whatever you'd like to call it in our corridor type of areas like so a bit like that oh, and then doors we're gonna have uh, green doors so let's go for that one and that one there we go we've got a functional general surgery department how awesome is that just gonna do a little bit of green up here like that I think sort that out a little bit later. 
Awesome. So we've now got too much left. We've only got £1,500 left. That should be okay. I hope that we should start getting a few people up here now. Um, that's all set up. So hopefully that'll bring in some more money. And then as soon as we've got a little bit more money, we can start bringing on the more rooms, more wards and stuff like that. So that's the plan. I don't know if we'll get anyone here today. Um, so at the minute, we just need to bash through the other patients downstairs. Yeah, this room is really, really popular. So I think that's next on the list is when we get a little bit more money to so get another one of these observation rooms. Um, Cause they're in really high demand. They're getting used a lot, but we are going through a lot of patients. So it does make sense. Um, a cleaning closet, that's a good point. Let's copy that. Go upstairs, pop that in there, we'll just chuck a door there, uh, make that one a green glass door, then we'll just get in someone in the day and someone at night. So you in the day and then you at night. Ah, but we want that to be general surgery, cleaning closet, like that. Uh, and then I need to say you assigned to workplace there you assigned to workplace there so now those should be both general surgery which they are lovely jubbly is that our first patient uh, he's got an eye patch as well he's cool he might need an MRI can you go for an MRI whilst you're waiting for your labs? Because that would be intelligent. Oh yeah, you can. So go and get your MRI, William. Old Willy. Oh my god, he's called Willy and he's an eye patch. He's one-eyed Willy. What a legend. Okay. So we're going to go and see a doctor, I think. No, he's going back down to the lab. Happy to get the results. Now should be going to see his doctor. Mm -hmm. What have you got, Willie? Other than one eye. Oh, he's not very happy. No clear diagnosis. Uh, we can't afford CT. USG, maybe? Oh no, Rachel! Who's going to bring us lots of money? Oh no. So I think USG is, yeah, sonography. Oh, so it's department. Oh, that's hospitalisation though, isn't it? Yeah. So we could get USG. I'd like to keep all of those doctor's offices in one place. So I'd like USG to be over here. So let's put that in. Green door. Um, let's go through here and make this all greenified. So that, all down there. Um, this space just here. All of that actually. Um, let's do all of that for the moment. All of that. Those will be checkered. Those will be checkered. And let's do all the walls. Like that. Uh, all the little partitions. Which might change actually, but. We'll keep it like that for the minute. So, like so. So much fun. All the fun. Like that. There we go. Okay. So, USG. Use exam table. Uh, let's put you there. With a, oh, God, you're going to be expensive, aren't you? That's all of our money gone already if we do that. Hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to try, try, and be intelligent. Office chair, um, paper holder. We need disinfectant, bin, medical light, a green medical light, one of those cabinet things, shock wave something or other. Hmm. I'm not going to have money to complete this room though. Because you do that, so I'm already in the minus. Hopefully we treat a few more patients. As soon as I get into the white, I can build the other happen though is it oh my god we've lost loads of money right increase the loan I'm gonna go back into minus again but but I hope that this room will ensure that we can get some patients pushed through so let's go for Patricia. She's got good skill in USG and she's actually the cheapest here. Does that need a waiting room? I don't think it does. Um, which should be okay. So there we go guys. We finally built general surgery. I hope that this figure is going to start getting better because we've, we've made a lot of changes at night. Um, what's going on with Linda then? IV immunoglobulin, please. Uh, I don't think anyone works there at night now though. You might have to go to emergency. Go ICU. Go anywhere. Go somewhere. Sorry Linda. Yes, I hope that's really going to change it for us financially. Yes, yeah, so we are positive again actually, so we're making a little bit of money here and there. We did miss seven patients today. Oh god, now Susan's collapsing. I'll oh, just have all of it, Susan. So, yeah, so we're still not doing great for money, but next time we're just going to have to keep looking at where we can improve, where we can get more staff in. Hopefully, why are you here? There's no doctors here. You have to wait like five hours silly lady and hopefully all I can say guys is hopefully it improves um, it's not an easy game if anyone's played this you will know it's not an easy game we've got a doctor at night Jennifer you need to see Lisa Hernandez please um, yeah it's not easy financially it's a tough game but it's enjoyable and all we can do is our best and we'll keep going and trust me guys we will start making money it's um, there's a lot of fine tuning in the game which I really enjoy I really enjoy it I really enjoy the micromanaging of trying to you know trying to trying to scrimp by and get those extra dollars dollars in so I'm looking forward the future is bright the future is bright you need an x-ray so Frank, you go and have your x-ray. Someone should be in for you shortly. So I'm going to leave it there today, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Hopefully our financial situation will be a bit better. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you have a great day. I shall see you later. If you like the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Post a comment down below. And please follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep updated. See you later.